Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard being assaulted by love bugs. So please do expect to see at least, you know, between 2 and 22 love bugs come our way. So this is a chevron piece that I think, because I'm OCD a little bit, it's a uh, love bug. It's too to whatever it is. It's not enough of whatever it is, and I want it to be something else. So I am going to take colors I like, starting with the color I like the best, because that'll encourage me, and put it right in my little Sharpie container. Maybe I'll put more of that in there. Maybe I will take the leftover paint I had from the last painting and mix some of that in there, and then squeeze some more of that favorite in there. I got them in my hair. Oh my goodness. Come on open. Yep, and my eyes. Nice! You guys, I don't like you guys. <laughs> yes, everywhere! And stuck to my paint. And please open. Red, now? Okay, it's time for a uh, an open sesame. And pink, where is it? I know it's here. That's not pink. But that is what I want every time. That's the pink I wanted. All right, I don't know how this is going to work. It's the first time I've tried it. And I am going to just give myself permission. As long as things don't keep blowing into my art, I'll be all set. So let's go here first. I'm just going to tip that right up. And I'm going to try and use this as a writing implement. I don't know how this is going to work. Especially not with things landing on the back of my legs. Chances are very good that's going to spread out. But I'm also thinking I could use the bamboo skewer to do that. And it doesn't need to be perfectly straight. I'm going to use the what used to be a pointed end. I like the stripes. I'm just learning, so if my first insert, my first woven piece doesn't look good, I'll have to understand why. And I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, so bear with me, hopefully. I think I want some gold in there. Put some in there too. Paint keeps paint, other paint wet, so that's a good thing. And I am going to try and cover the stripes this next time, if I can. This may be bad, but it might be at least cool. All right. So far, not so great, but I've got squeeze bottles of paint and I've got a will to use them and I do so frequently. Get off my ankle, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. I should not be out here. I should not be doing this. This is just tempting fate. Far too much. Yeah, right in the... See ya. Bye. Off me. Thank you. <laughs> but I really just wanted to be out here today. I'm sorry, guys. You may never see this video. Then again, you can never tell. I think I want some Prussian blue or some purple. Or both. I think this other purple that I like. I'm going to have to make a fast escape with my, my leftovers. I want some white. White pearl. I think I'm going to waggle that right down in there too. Because again, the name of my book on the Amazon link. So how little can I put in there? I still have it work. Oh god, that tickles. <laughs> uh, I wish it was as funny as I'm making it sound. They're, they're everywhere you don't want them to be.
just using the skewer to spread that line out. I'm not super thrilled with that yet, I gotta say. And I think it, one of my paintings is just gonna flip right off my table shoulder because it's too windy. I think I just gave myself permission to do whatever I need to do, which is uh, go back here and add some colors. That's not really what I wanted to do, actually. Fortunately, if the canvas is dry, you can get away with all kinds of stuff, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Ah! <laughs> get off of my ankles, please! At least it's my ankles and not my face! <laughs> wow. So, one thing I learned about that orange paint in that bottle is I cannot just use it directly on the canvas because it's got a large opening at the top. And I need to know better. T I need to know not to do that. So I'm just sort of laying out whatever. And this might get finished another day because this is crazy. I was insane to think I could come out here. <laughs> just nuts. Tempted to think I might need a much smaller. I'm going to straighten that out. There. What color next? Something neat, please. Get off of me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I've got. Under duress. I just wanted to try a weaving, what can I say? Sometimes you've got to just play with your paints. And that's exactly what this is. Because what I had was sitting there telling me that I wasn't the only one that probably wouldn't care for it. As it was. We're going to run out of time and I will have just been basically talking to myself because I don't think this is going anywhere. You can put the paint right directly onto the skewer and then drop it down and have it work out pretty well. As long as it's not drying too quickly, getting excessively gloppy, like I suspect this will any moment. It probably would have helped if the chevrons had been straighter. Maybe I'll do a white stripe next in the black. And I'll wipe off my skewer or get a clean one. That would just be too logical, wouldn't it? How about a clean one? I think so. I used to like to make paintings with uh, laces in them. Abstract expressionist, sort of surrealistic. Get off my ankle, please. And that's what this reminds me of, the laces, the weaving. I don't even know if I can really make this work. But it could become fodder for something much more extremely strange soon. <laughs> if it doesn't. Which is okay too, you know? So I'm thinking a little red, because the pink probably won't work. Hey, the pink might be alright though. I don't know if I can make that work or not. But I'm willing to try it because it's cool looking. <laughs> so a little puddle of paint falling short of the stripe means that you won't have a bulb of paint drying. 
and since I'm probably not going to even try and torch, because once I agitate things enough, I feel like that probably the bubbles have been beaten into submission. They're not in there the same way they were. I would like to have some sharp edges when I get right close to my edge there. Get off of me, please. There's, I can see my peripheral vision is telling me that there's like 40 of these things. I was going to say flocking, but um, they're swarming, basically. There is no escape from love bug season in Florida. And it happens more than once, too. I bet the car washes make a lot of money. Come on, stop. No, go away. Well, I will have gotten part of the way through this. I think I need a gold thread next. It looks a little anomalous because it's different widths every time it crosses over. Let's do a little gold. Yes, I see it. It's on my hand. Go away. <laughs> Please go away. Uh, that's me being hardcore being out here. I should not be out here. We know that. But hey, this might give somebody an idea for something cool. And I like inspiring you guys. I really, really do. I love the comments you leave me too. You have such a great sense of humor. And the other day I was really not very happy. And, and you guys, you changed my mood. You changed my day. You made me happy. You are so sweet to me. I really appreciate you guys sharing your appreciation with me. It's incredibly valuable to me. So that's kind of neat actually. I'm not minding that. It's not as perfect as I would expect it. I would want it to be being who I am. But okay, never mind. I do want to cover this other paint because I think it would be nice to not have to try and use it right now. And I think I can use it again in a second. I really want some dark blue or maybe some of that beautiful Art Minds green. I think I'll try this right here. So far, I've kept my pattern moving in the right direction, as in it looks log logical. <laughs> if, I, if I laugh for no reason, I'm telling you, I'm getting landed on. <laughs> I am feeling like there's some folk art color shifting green gold coming my way soon. And I'm hoping these little puddles of paint will mean that uh, because they're puddles, they'll cover and they won't show the pattern through. But I don't guess it probably makes that much difference. Not at this point in this particular piece, anyway. I want more gold again. And I don't want it behind, so I'm going to have to skip a layer. And I'm thinking that I'm just going to give myself... Come on out. Or don't. Maybe. Hey, you know what? I think this is better anyway. Although there might be a little more of it there than I actually require. It'd be nice if I was getting fast enough at this to finish it before we run out of time, and I might. I don't know if it'll be actually finished or not because my intention is to absolutely have this turn into something eventually, someday that I really do like, or better. Maybe I'll love it. This is not it yet. <laughs> but it is becoming something interesting. And I'm kind of, in spite of being tickled to death, I am enjoying the process somewhat. And I could go back and lay a stripe down into things. I kind of want to put some of the paint I had saved out in there. I think it's almost time for an orange stripe again, to tell you the truth. So I'm going to do that right here. Try and fall short. Yep. 
It's different. It's an idea I wanted to try for a while. So. A video for a desperate moment. Plenty of those recently. Yep, I think my job working for Google or YouTube or whatever I've been doing making videos is going away and uh, I'm going to have to figure out another way to make an income and uh, I, I kind of considered maybe putting the videos up for resale. I don't know how that's going to work. I'd like to stay here but um, it does seem a lot like that's not going to be an option shortly. I'm going to use the art mines And I left spaces in between for two more rows, so that might be really cool if I come back in another go. I'm going to widen those out, like as wide as I can go with them. Maybe steal a little paint, even. Because there's no reason they shouldn't be wider if I want them to be, especially since the paint is already there. And the dry paint in the background is easy to get to wipe up without it destroying anything yet. And people are always asking me about my paint drying, but I really don't have that much of an issue. Oh wow, we got two minutes left. So I don't know if it's useful or not to have a, a thumbs up anymore, but um, I love them. So please, if you feel like being generous and, and you want to help me out, it might help me out to give me a thumbs up. I think, oh, I want some of that up there. I can't do that right now, okay. So I love you guys. There's 80,000 of you, or around that. Um, there were more the last time I checked, but you can never tell with what's going on at YouTube anyway. So I love you guys. Ooh, my skewer had stuff on it. And so does my ankle. Uh, there's Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, and Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors. If you're looking for a student group that's the first, if you're looking for a place to buy art, that might be the second. Ah! Which reminds me, I leaned on this painting and I see it's dipped in a little bit. And if you have a painting that's a little floppy, do yourself a favor and get a sprayer. Oh, please get off my legs. And um, spray the back of your painting and put it in the, with alcohol, with rubbing alcohol. Won't hurt anything unless you've got a label in there, in which case it'll probably run. And then um, put it in the sun. The back in toward the sun and it will pop right out and become taut again which is kind of nice to know no i don't want you in there <laughs> love bug season is not my favorite season i might have said that already so you'll be gone in a minute and look for the end screens with my website where you can see stuff I've done and there is an Instagram feed as well as an Instagram feed underneath the video um, there's Twitter and Pinterest. Pinterest boards have all kinds of cool stuff on them. If you go to Facebook and you look for Expressionist Art, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and you find my my first fan page you will um, be able to sh use the shop now button to uh, to see what I put on Fire Art America, which is not nearly as cool, honest, to be honest with you, as uh, as what's on Teespring, which is the, the clothing under the video, where they have allowed me to create designs that are uh, I'll cover up, cover whole whole shirts, and I can now make leggings from more stuff and cooler. And uh, Christmas is coming, so if you want to help me out and uh, impress impress your uh, recipients of your presents. That would be great <laughs> if you wanted to go shopping there. Same thing with the Amazon link. Really, really nice selection of cool stuff at no added cost to you and definitely will be of assistance to me. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for the great comments and uh, thanks for the contributions in the past. There's always a contest running. I think I said that already. I may have. But you'll see the prizes on the exhibition. It's not a contest. It's a drawing. Once a month, people who contribute more than $10 to keep the studio rolling, keep me painting, have, if their name is drawn, a choice of one of the paintings. And this month you have a choice of paintings or my book called Because I Can on the Amazon link under Show More. It's the first hundred videos from YouTube.